What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. Um, I keep hearing humor is going to get you through a lot right now. Humor. Um, some of us have a light humor. Some have a very dark sense of humor. Some have a very dry dad joke type of humor. Um, whatever your humor is and whatever it is you're going through, find the funny in it. Because I'm hearing there's something so hilariously ironic that it's like you saw it before there was any hint or indication. Um, you saw something. It hasn't happened yet, but it will. And then I'm hearing bump in the road. Fork, paths. Maybe you cho chose a more difficult path. The thing about your paths, though, either there are other paths that can lead you back to where you were meant to be, or you could have gone either way. They're going to go to the same place. I'm getting a lot here. Let's just start by pulling some cards. This moon deck. Um... No, let's start with lesson. Let's start with lesson. Message of love. What's the lesson? Yeah, I'm hearing don't be fooled. <clears throat> it's making me remember when somebody once told me and it stuck with me for my whole life and I'm glad because it's actually really helped me a lot. Believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. Yeah, now I'm hearing something about, like, somebody catching wind of something, like, through the grapevine. The birdies are talking, the family is, is talking, and somebody heard something about you, or you're hearing it about somebody else, or whatever. Somebody may have even said something right to you, but it's the facts. Something about a lot of clouds and confusion distortion. This is the bump in the road. What about it? Where are we going with that? Okay, I'm seeing a stop sign. That's it. Like, that's... Let me get in the cards. Um, I guess whatever smoke screen, lies, whatever was being spoke about, overheard, repeated uh, rumors <coughs> are being dismissed. That's what I'm hearing. There's somebody who's very important. Somebody who whose influence um, is in high regards. This is somebody that when they have an opinion, people hear them out. Even if they disagree, they still... It, it, there's a level of respect for this individual. Anyways, they that's the person, very king of swords energy. They can see the truth. They see what's really going on. So, like, if this is something in the workplace, this would be the boss, right? There's a conflict between the employees, yada, yada, right? Um, if it's in a family, I just heard somebody's story isn't adding up. Yeah, somebody's going to see right through it. Somebody might even know. There could be like an alibi. Like how in the world would they have done that? They were with me at that time. You know what's crazy? You may have, you might even forget that you were actually with that person at the time, and so you're trying to defend yourself. And this person's like, "I got you. You were with me. Like, you don't need an alibi. I'm the alibi." Different pages. Yeah, there's something is not what it seems. Half of what you hear and none of what you see. No, I'm sorry. Believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. I don't even remember who said that. I've never been good with names. Great with faces, great with numbers. Just the names cost me a lot of history. <laughs> um, GPA. Let's see. Obsession. Ooh. It's the clouds. Someone is obsessed with creating clouds. Doubt. 
confusion, manipulation, distractions even. Somebody's actually pulling on dark energy. I don't, because, like, you don't have to believe in the stuff to do it, you know. Anybody can have a bad day and take it out on somebody else. It's still considered projection, whether you go to counseling, a spiritual, uh, whatever, practitioner, um, or just a friend. They're all going to tell you it's, it's a form of projection. So... This person is doing that. There's this angry, there's this fear, there's this... It's like a deep-seated hate. You know something about this person. It's like you saw them do something. You've seen a version of that. You've seen one of their... You know how people have many different colors and you, true colors come out. and You've seen a shade of them that... They just cannot sleep knowing that you know that side of them. Somebody knows now. It's almost like they shared a secret with you and then regret it afterwards. But it's so deep. It's so deep. You and this person were close. These readings are getting weird. I feel like I don't even need the cards. Healing. Yeah, underneath it all, you've done the healing and somebody's going to see that because ch you've changed. You're different. You're not... You know, but somebody else is, like, really on some childish bullshit still. Something about focus. Your focus needs more focus. Um, somebody's focus is just all over the place right now. Oh, and that's what's kicking up all this dust. Because they're scattered everything and everyone around them they're they're picking up on this energy I, I almost feel like this person oh man have you ever people will give themselves away I tell you what I had a very important important meeting the other day and I walk in this room and I could just as soon as I announced who I was and why I was there I could feel this lady throwing her energy at me and I'm like okay I know exactly who you are now and just moments later it was confirmed. I'm like, yeah, I thought, you know, I had a feeling. Um, but you know how people just throw their energy? This person is throwing this energy all over the place. This, this angry, this... It feels like desperation. Somebody's desperate. They're trying everything. There's something about loopholes... Here's the thing, though. Somebody sees through all of it. And this person is so judgment. This person is so highly influential. Like, see, in judgment, it also shows a butterfly in full vibrant colors. Red, orange, yellow in the picture, if I remember correctly. Um, from the root, this person understands at the core what's going on here. And they are able to... Um, not only process this, but like explain it in a way that's going to be very clear cut, precise, uh, easy to understand by all parties involved type thing, you know? Yeah. Eight of wands, this communication, it's coming in quick too. all of a sudden, really fast. I'm getting like something. It's like, I'm hearing a gavel boom. And then I'm hearing somebody say it's done. But in like a very calm, oh my gosh, how did that happen? How did I just pull this off? How, how confused? I think it's because you took a different path. And this path was a little more curvy, a little more windy, bendy. You know, there were parts of this path that you weren't even sure you were still on the path. You know, did you just see that orb shoot across? Shooting. You're, you're. It's like you're finding your way back. And it could be because of the healing. It's like you're back to a version of you before all that experience happened. 
again, now I'm hearing, it's like your reputation or your name or your job or something is um, back in good standing. Eight of Pentacles, definitely. Finance it. Uh, this is family work and life. Six of Wands, victory. How did that just happen? There's something here. Um, you could be seeing eights and sixes. Fours. They're showing me fours. Okay. Probably more fours than anything, actually. Some of you are just bombarded with all the numbers, all the animals, all the, all the, right? So we have movement of wands, Sagittarius, universe, all the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, strength, more Leo, fire and all of this. Wow, spirit of wands, Leo. Ace of cups in the very center of this reading. What's meant for you is meant for you. There can be distractions, there can be delays, whatever you wanna call it. If you're meant to be somewhere, you're gonna be somewhere. I'm hearing somebody, this feels like um, an ancestor, better late than never, which, I mean, it's something that I actually used to say a lot. Yeah, somebody's coming through here. Better late than never. Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups. So this is this is what it is in your heart, in your soul, in your very essence, your being, right? Um, the two cups coming together. Look at it. It's like two hearts beating as one. Like this. This is screaming healing. It's screaming blessings. But it's really just appreciation. Yeah, I'm hearing you weathered a storm that you didn't create. Oh man, I'm sorry. I just, I can already see the whole movie of how or whatever, how this plays out karmically. The hangman, yeah, that instantly, boom. There's this energy of stagnation though. That's probably where you're at right now is this energy of stagnation, waiting for somebody. It could, yeah, it, it's like you're waiting, um, waiting to find out what's the boss going to say about this. I want to know what so-and-so has to say. You know, I want to know what dad has to say or grandpa has to say or mom has to say. I want to know what so-and-so has to say. Six of Swords. also very spiritual led and guided here spirit of swords that's the king of swords that's the energy i was yeah so see and that's why this person can see the truth because you and this person are on the same page i feel like there's i need to word this very carefully I feel like you and this specific person that I'm channeling that basically has the overall say or just is the voice with the, the most um, heed taken to it, you guys have a much deeper set of morals and values. And it shows because you've healed, you've worked on yourself. I feel like maybe this person has seen this so many times before. We have two different kings here and the universe, oh my goodness. Um, or they themselves have had to go through this. Someone they love deeply had to go through this. There's a, there's a sensitive spot that this person but they're not letting that distract them. 
because this, the king of swords sees things clearly, fully understands, but does not let emotion get in the way. We have all these swords with the, with the hanged man. This person can absolutely put themselves in someone else's shoes without having any experience. They, when they say, oh my God, I can only imagine, they really actually do and can imagine. Very empathetic. But not letting their empathy, their emotions get the better of them. That's why people look up to them. That makes total sense. This is someone, I'm, I'm gonna put that to the side because that is a side note. That is somebody here who's, this is an outsider looking in. This, this is an outside influence. I wanna finish your spread in specific regards to you and your situation and all this, right? Um, but I know exactly why that came out. That's, which is funny because I usually pull those cards after, but we need to, to know that before we understand what's um, outcome energy here. Outcome energy. Mm, for the true collective is what I'm hearing. For the true collective. Somebody's pretending, oh, I don't like that. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Somebody, somebody's just a fake, a fraud. They, um, somebody's incriminating themselves. Ace of Wands, yeah. I don't even have words right now for what I just saw. Um, remember I said that I can just see how karma plays this out? I wasn't even close. I was barely scratching the surface. The universe... Mm -hmm. Someone is taking this personally. Somebody in power is taking this personally. And they are so mad. Livid. Like, I think that's why I heard the gavel, and it's just, it's done. I'm hearing a man of few words, but he says a lot in these few words. Whoever it is that, so the story about the seven of swords. In the card, you see someone running away with five swords. It said that if they come back for the other two, they're going to get caught. Interestingly enough, in this deck, it's the two swords that they try to run off with. They're getting caught. So when I get the seven of swords in this deck, I'm like, oh, okay, you, you came back for the two swords. Like, you're busted here. Some, somebody's, <laughs> I just said that like, <laughs> like I'm in the Chicago Mafia or something. You busted. The devil. I can't make this up. Underneath it all. I'm telling you, like, I'm going to skip this because, like, that's, I, I can't, but the information the information is calling for justice here, and this justice is going to fucking crush this person. My eye just twitched. Like, ooh, <laughs> you're not going to want to watch this part. You're not going to even want to hear about this part. You, you don't want to know. You don't want to know what the universe is doing to this person, I am telling you. If you are holding on to that grudge, that is more healing that you need to do. You have not actually fully healed yet. Because I am telling you, I am telling you, you do not want to know what happens to this person. I'm not showing you these cards. That I cannot.
stand the fuck back because there's no way you can stop the universe from dishing out what's about to be dished out. All you can do right now is wait. Stand back and watch. It's that seahorse spirit, right? So I watch, watch me pull the animal spirits and it comes out. Yeah, sun card. Everything, I'm calling everything else. There's that, that Leo. I said it with the universe. Strength. King of Wands. I said all we're missing is the sun. And the sun is right next to the, the Seven of Swords. <laughs> oh, I just snorted. Like this person is, is being seen, is being exposed. Somebody really tried to get away with something. I'm hearing, I cannot believe you would try to justify that. Your fucking moral character is pathetic. Holy shit. Sorry, that's just so harsh. Two of swords, yeah, seven of swords plus the two of swords is the nine of swords. This person's fear was being exposed but I mean, what did you think was gonna happen? Literally, you're knocking on Karma's door, saying, hey, I'm about to stir the shit pot. <clears throat> so you put somebody else, put their name all out there, but God forbid your name be out there. Yeah, somebody was fucking with a high priestess. That was dumb. Yeah, pretending to be innocent, but it's the page of cups. This is a really immature innocent. Like it's, it's. Okay, I was hearing manipulation. I get it, they play games. There are people that really do think that this person is innocent here. That's sad. I hope they don't fucking, ugh, whatever, to each their own. So everybody else is lesson to learn. Anyways, they're going through this five of cups. I mean, this this loss, this set, my eye keeps twitching. You don't want to see this, this loss that I'm hearing. Oh, there's more than one break taking place here. I've never noticed that. So not only is the diamond broken, but the necklace with all the little beads is also broken. So it's a big something and then a lot of other little somethings over time. The moon card, this person did not see this coming because they don't believe in this, I don't know, stuff. <laughs> the spiritual journey, the healing journey. Or at least the tarot part of it, because that's, that's what everybody's here for, is the tarot part of the journey. This is just one little part of it. There's so much more. Oh, I... <laughs> well, let me put the side note over here. I think High Priestess was supposed to be the final card out. I just heard, yes, it was. That makes sense. Oh, that makes perfect sense. So what's at the bottom of the deck now? Decision time. You are deciding to wait. Wait to, sorry. You're waiting to hear what this person has to say. That's all you're doing. You're waiting. You're choosing to wait. You're choosing to stand back. We're not gonna fan the fire. We're not gonna go see if they did stir the shit's pot, you know, go smell it. Oh, this smells disgusting, here. No. <laughs> Doing that to myself. I don't know what you were thinking, but no, I am not. Even a little bit gonna do that to myself. We're gonna spray this again. Because this person be on some bullshit, dumb shit. Like you really, I get this feeling that there's a history. Like this person constantly tries to come for you and it constantly blows up in their face. They don't fucking learn. I actually um, spent some time with a guy that he would constantly try to like make a statement. I, how do I explain it? Like 
well, what if this happens? Then you would have to blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, oh, unless, you know, this and that. You're right. And you come back, well, what if, and like, okay, but what also if? And, like, he'd always try to, like, prove me wrong or disprove me or, you know what I mean? Like, and it was it was all in fun. It was, it was all in good fun. It, it, you know, never caused any other issues. But we had other issues, <laughs> of course. But that was never it. It's just that this person, they're doing it maliciously. Like, for them, it's not all in good fun. For them, it is to irk you, get under your skin. I don't know why, but I'm hearing needles on the back. Needles on the back. No clue what that means. You tell me. <laughs> I'm going to pull animal spirits. I know we've already got quite a few here, but. So this goes to speak. I talked about wasp spirit, which is in that deck too. So it might come out, but I talked about wasp spirit and that energy. You saw that? That energy um, shift that's taking place with the seasons right now and everything like that. What's going on in the universe, the world, right? Um, the, as the chapter closes and a new one begins this process for you specifically um remember i said that wasps have not evolved enough to know if i save honey if i keep collecting the nectar i keep creating honey we can use that honey to get through the season um they don't know to do that bees have evolved they do know how to do that they will survive this winter. The wasps will not. Oh my gosh. Because you are connected. You have healed. You have, I'm hearing upped your game. I don't know exactly what that means for you specifically because this is gonna play out in a lot of different ways, but that's just what I'm getting. Take what sticks, leave what doesn't feel like it's for you. If you've already tossed the reading, I doubt you've made it this far. So, <laughs> Let's get, yeah, be playful. You're just minding your business, doing what you need to. The fucking bee spirit just came out. Sweet results await. I cannot even believe that just happened. Look at that. See, electric eel spirit. You're bringing your ideas. Something is going to shock. Shock and awe. I feel collective, like you have people around you that are, they always knew this was gonna happen for you. It's like they saw it for you and some of them aren't even psychic, but even they believed that you would have that one day. Not just because you deserve it, but because The universe has to balance itself back out somehow. There's something about you that people that aren't even psychic can see. I feel like you've often heard random strangers, too, say things like, you have this glow about you. You're special. There's something different about you. You stand out. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but you're special somehow. Know your worth. Skunk, skunk spirit. That's funny. I've had to do a lot of driving, and I have been smelling a lot of skunks. I've been seeing a lot of them, too. Even babies. Still, though, <laughs> keep your distance. You don't want to get sprayed. Ooh, with the karma. See, that's, I'm kind of worried about the other people that are, because there are still people believing them. Even after everything. Somebody 
somebody's using, or at least trying to, I'm telling you, somebody is really pulling on, it's not just negative energy, it's, if you've ever worked with like Reiki, healing chakras, um, channeling energy, seeing auras, or cleansings, uh, even my scryers, you'll understand what I'm saying here. You know the black sludge? It's not energy. It's it's like alive. And it, it's not just like a gaseous hue of orange or a gaseous hue of green. And, and it's an aura. And it's like a, a cloud that you can kind of pass your hand through and, and stuff like that. No, it's like a solid and it's like liquid tar, like a sludge. This person is pulling on this. It's like, it looks like a shoestring, but it's made of this fucking sludge and they're pulling it through like this. I don't even know what the, where they're pulling it from. It's not from here. It's not from here. There's an entity that's got to be helping them with this. I don't know if they went to a practitioner and this person's trying to like, I'm hearing, okay, they had, someone had to have given an offering. It could have been the practitioner that got the offering or this specific person did. It's like they're going to try to use it as a lasso, but it gets caught up on their ankle. And when it's time to pull the cord... They're going through this portal, not you, because they're the only thing attached to this darkness, this sludge. Don't get yourself involved with this. Don't stay the fuck back. Oh my gosh, seven of swords in the after tarot. This person comes back for the two swords and they step in a fucking lasso. Quit playing with me. This is crazy, you guys. I don't even have that deck. <laughs> you, don't take my word for it. Look it up. Don't even take my word for that. Please look it up. Yeah, love is all around you. Love is all around you. And people that don't even believe in psychics and mediumship and, and stuff like that, the Claire's, even they can see there's something special about you. Oh. Crow spirit, co-create with spirit. My the tip of my nose. <laughs> Angels, ancestors. The tip of my nose for some reason always tickles. Parrot spirit, watch your words. Yeah, don't and don't believe everything you're hearing either. Somebody said something or somebody wrote something down or it's like they gave themselves away. They were caught on camera. I, this pictures or you're lying and somebody actually slapped some pictures on the table. Bring a gentle touch with dear spirit here. There's so much going on here. But somebody's, my eye keeps switching. Somebody's going to see through all this muck. Look at that, 999. And that's just in these cards. Watch your words. Watch who you're sharing your plans with, your ideas with. They're reminding me of that game that we all played in elementary school or grade school um, called Telephone, where you take, I don't know, 10, 12, how many of our children you can get together, and you put them in a circle 
and um, one person reads like a three or four sentence story and they whisper it into the person standing next to them, whisper it into their ear and then they have to retain it and then whisper it to the person next to them and by the time it goes all the way around the room the last child that gets to have the whisper you know it's whispered to them they have to share it out loud and it's never ever even close to what the original story was right so don't believe what you're hearing right now Somebody, I can't tell who this person is because it's more than just this one person. And these people are doing it for different reasons. A couple of them, there's something in it for them. It's devious is what I'm hearing. And it's coming from the one person that is trying to like start all this stuff for you, right? Throwing at you. The birds, the birds are talking. We got a lot of birds on the table, holy crap. This whole bottom row is birds. We have the owl here. The bat. <clears throat> See, Ross Spirit didn't come out though. I kind of thought it would. But B Spirit came out instead. That's even better. That's even better. That's evolution. That's the evolved version. That's why you're showing up as the high priest, high priestess. This is the highest level of intuitive. And you're evolving again. This is beautiful. There's a lot. There's a lot at once. You are going to want to celebrate. Um, but at the same time, keep your protection up because somebody's big mad. Somebody's big mad. They tried to do something horrible to you and it's backfiring horribly on them. <laughs> Keep your protection up. Keep your faith up too. And pay attention to all these messages and signs that you're getting. Humor, if you have to. We saw that antelope spirit. Have some fun. Enjoy yourself while you're in this kind of um, stagnant energy. This waiting, this in-between, this twiddling of the thumbs. This too shall pass. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.